If you could have a versus battle of like producers, who would you like your ideal battle? Like I would like to see Khalil versus Scott Storch, uh -huh. or maybe Ninth Wonder. Alchemist. Ninth Wonder versus Alchemist. Oh my God, that would be fire, bro! Right. Ninth Wonder versus Alchemist. That shit would be fire. If Dilla was still alive too, like the, you know what I'm saying? Alchemist, Dilla, and in the Ninth Wonder. Oh my God, that should be that should, yeah, hey, When you start off uh, like learning how to like what what it machine, uh, what, you know what I'm talking about? I started using FL Studio too. Okay. FL Studio version two, bro. Oh. So that was like fucking I don't know, ten years ago. 12 years ago, um, I learned how to chop up a sample, you know what I'm saying, there was no YouTube, so I just kind of looked at the file menu, and then, uh, okay, import beat to slice, I was like, okay, or import beat to sample, I'm like, okay, I grabbed this Mexican, uh, or like this cumbia, and I said, like, okay, I'm gonna click this, boom, boom, I found the file, imported it, then the little menu came up. And I was like, what are, what are these things right here? So then I learned how to slice the beat. Okay, okay, so now the slice, the markers turn into the segments of the sample. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so then I learned all that shit by tr just, by, just by fucking fucking with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, and I just fucking started fucking, fucking shit up. What about on the writing side, bro? Like, the lyrics, like. <clears throat> lyrics, I don't really write. I don't really sit down and write no more. Everything is kind of off the top, so I'll do I'll do like a I'll do like a, maybe two bars, boom. I'll hear the beat and I'm vibing to the beat and I'll be like, mm, da, 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 boom. Mm, okay, this back and then I'll just da, 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 and I'll record boom 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 and I'll just do I'll piece it like that and and that'll be my verse. You know? And it, uh, it always comes out better that way I think because I don't overthink it and it's yeah. more organic. It's on the spot, on point. You know? yeah, yeah. So. On your like acoustic joints, the ones where you just like, bro, like, when you you go to like a a, a, a space like, a, you know what I mean, like a dark space. Honestly, you? honestly, I'm just like a lot of people don't realize or know. I'm just, I'm, I could get into my feelings like really, really big. I'm emo I'm an emotional motherfucker though. Like, you know, I do every emotion 150 percent. Like. If I'm happy, I'm gonna be fucking uh, ecstatic. Yeah. If I'm depressed and sad, I'm gonna be fucking mm, mm. like, and I just fucking. Like I, I dwell, I dwell into my emotions, which is fucked up. But I always, you know, musically, oh, something always comes out. You know? right. But I, I really, you know, what I'm saying? I really get into my shit. Like I'm really like. I do it on purpose, I think, sometimes, subconsciously. Yeah. Just so that I could come out with some good music. Yeah. Like, I'll be like, man, fuck, I'm sad, right? Or I'm feeling bad about something. Like, I'll just let that shit eat me alive, bro. Yeah. But and I record, but I, I lock myself in. in this fucking booth right here, and I just record. Yeah. Record. Boom, 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 boom. And you know what I'm saying? That's when the best music comes out. Right. You know, I ain't afraid to let that shit happen. It's, it's just... I'm not afraid to deal with it. A lot of people, a lot of people have a have a shield up or guard up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're afraid to deal with their emotion, so they're always, you know, okay, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. Because you know? there's that like I don't stigma, fall for you know? it. like that stigma that like you if you show emotion, like yeah, you, I mean, you, look, you, it's a weakness. Or straight up, shit. that's what everybody used to like when I first started. Look, when I first started doing my shit, when I started releasing songs like that, where it's like. People were talking shit, bro. Don't get it fucked up. People were talking shit, but guess what? My inbox was flooded with people talking about, "Hey, man, your song helped me do this. Your song helped me get by this." Like, you know, so fuck all the fuck whatever all these rappers are talking about. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the messages that I get in my DM that like somebody. it helps somebody. Yeah. yeah, straight up because it's like then I take it back to my like. There's songs I like to listen to when I feel them pissed off, or like when I, you know what I'm saying. Like if I'm listening, like if if I really like feel like, man, fuck this bitch. I'm going to bone some sugar free right. all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, fuck a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'll help me just get into my shit, in my zone. Yeah. So just just as the music that we use, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? In our life, like, I got to put that music out there too because somebody's going to use it for their life. Mm -hmm. So that's what that is, you know? Guy, fuck it. First, bring back the boom bap. And I ain't about to battle rap, nigga. I stay sharp on all sides like a battle axe, nigga. Pop and shit off. Sneak peek. 
You will never been to my studio, you about to come in right now. Bro. The elevator takes way too long. You see how, look, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how slow this elevator go, look. We're only going four stories. Look how long it should take. Like, this shit crazy, right? <laughs> Come on, man. So, look, we're in the city of Hawthorne. Actually, Hawthorne Boulevard and uh, 137. Motherfucker did a lot of running around back in the day. All up and down this boulevard. All the way up to El Segundo, which is the main, the main street, the next main street up there. Um, this is where it go down. I love my city. You know what I'm saying? Hawthorne, California. Ain't no place. You know what I'm saying? That I would trade with it. Blueberry. Bluebird is a uh, motherfuckers be hitting that at, at the Blueberry. You know, when, when y'all see when y'all see that Fox 11 news talking about millions of dollars and lottery winners, they win here. This is a Blueberry. Personally, I ain't never won shit. But I don't gamble like that, you know? But, uh, unless it's a slot machine. But we about to get some more liquor. And we celebrating life right now. Mm -hmm. this, this, this right here. <clears throat> I get so much love right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? People fucking, they be just digging me up, giving me props all the time. I walk around here with my jewelry. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Come on. 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 Come Fire. Oh, you know, I've seen uh, for shorts before. Shorts. Oh, yeah, look. Get the homie right here. This is the world famous Bluebird liquor store. You got it right. Straight up. Hey, ¿cuántos ganan aquí un chingo? Look. A lot of millionaires. Check that shit out. Look, check that shit out. Look. Check that shit Blue Berlin, so blue. I love this city, man. This is my city. This is where I grew up. You know, walk around. I mean, 10 years ago, when I was in these streets, you know, there'd be a gang of motherfuckers with me, or I'd be, you know, fucking driving a bunch of the homies around, getting in trouble type shit. Um, you know, for the most part, everything right now is kind of gentrified. All this shit was in here. You know what I mean? They made it look real, real nice because of the fucking stadium they're building, you know, the Ram Stadium in Inglewood, which is right up the street. Yeah. Uh, they locked a lot of people up, man. The cops locked a lot of homies up. Uh -huh. And uh, they cleaned up. They cleaned up Hawthorne, you know? But, um, yeah, we, you know... It was crazy. At one point, it was crazy out here. Right now, it's cool. Everything's, you know, everything's straight. But I still love this city. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. What'd you do for fun, bro, when you was out here, like, as a youngster, like, like, you know, like, your younger years, though, like? Honestly? My idea was of fun was getting high and getting into trouble. Picking up the homies. There was this one house that we used to go to. Older lady. 
we just used to let all the homies come through and post up. We had all the bitches come through and kick it. Everybody go do their own thing. But basically it was like <clears throat> it was just it was just drama, bro. Not drama, but like everybody would do their own shit. Everybody get in trouble. Yeah. Me, I, I don't gangbang, but I was just out there, bro. I was just always fucking, you know, just doing my shit, man, you know? Trying to get money. Trying to get money and trying to fuck some bitches, you know? That's it. I got shot at a couple times even though I didn't bang. But I was with the homies. I got chased. I don't bang. They chased my motherfucking car for like fucking 35 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Right. And it's just, you know, learning experience, bro. Learning experience. Look at that. A G Wagon. But yeah, look. Point is, that shit, that at the point, at that time it was fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing better though now, you know, I got my kids. What I find fun is being able to provide for them. Like, that's the best thing in the world to me, you feel me? Like, I take my son on shopping sprees, bro. Straight up. I'll be like, all right, let's go, get what you want. And he'll literally go up and down the aisle. Boom, 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 whatever the fuck he wants. Cause I can, cause I can. You know? That's what I work hard for. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck about anything else, but like, being able to give my son anything he wants or anything I want to give him. Am I, am I, am I doing, you know, is it bad? Is he gonna be a spoiled? Like, no. You know, because he knows he got to work for it, but he's top of his class in reading and math, eight years old, he's in the boxing, he's a good kid, you know, and uh, that's that's my life so you right now. Fishing and stuff? I see you be putting the pads on him, let him, uh, yeah. He get, he get down. Yeah. He get down, you know? Right? He's hitting that growth spurt right now, too. Yeah. He's hitting that growth spurt where he's like... Gaining, gaining weight real quick. Yeah. He's getting stockier. You know, he's all the way up here right now. It's like, fuck. You know, like, fuck, I never, man, it's just crazy when you got your kids, it's like, fuck, I never thought I'd feel like this about a, a, another human being ever, dog, like, you know? Yeah. I never thought, you know? Everybody knows what it is to like, love a bitch, you love the bitch, right? Cool. Got love for the homie. Oh, that's the homie, man. That's my parents. Okay, I love my parents. You know, when you have your kids, your son, especially your first boy, your son. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's like. Unconditional. Uh, like, that's a whole nother, I can't even, exp I can't yeah. even explain Where's it. Where's him beside it? It's just like, he's me. It's like, it's like. I can't even say, man, I can, I, I'll probably let some shit slide on me before, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, fool. It's just, it's crazy. You know, parents understand. I mean, I know there's a lot of piece of shit parents out there. I can never understand how motherfuckers can have a kid and just leave them. You know, my pops never left me. And I never leave my son. But um, I can never understand that, but. That, that all translates into my music as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm passionate. Mm. Passionate about that, passionate about, about life. My kids, you know? Yeah, I'm drinking right now, but I don't do this often, you know? I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped to be here with the army, you feel me? Some real ace kind of shit. Yo, if you could give some, uh, you know, to give some advice, bro, like, what would it be, like, like you know, just some words of... <laughs> I'm not drunk, <laughs> Look. You know, like, if, you know what I mean? Like, there's something that you wish somebody would have told you when you was uh, younger, you know? Okay. The best advice I could give, like, like, the youth is, um, if you're going to do something... Put everything you got into it. Don't half step. 
don't give you know don't give half of what you got don't give a little bit or don't give it like put everything you got into it you got to you got a letter you don't have to go buy a letter like bro don't don't, don't have step shit you know you can't you can't make it oh you motherfuckers lock the door you can't make it to where you want to get let's go get the lighter you can't make it to where you want to be if you only go in like 50 percent hard on 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 the game like me personally like when i when i said like okay i'm just gonna flood the fucking game like i'm just gonna fucking put my shit out there without caring about what people thought you know i kept it real to myself I wouldn't put out a song unless I felt personally like, like, oh, I fuck with it. You know, a lot of motherfuckers put out songs just to put out songs. I put out song like, if I don't fuck with the song, I'm not going to put it out. Mm. So every song that I put out, I genuinely fuck with. Like, I was just like, hell yeah, like, this is the one. This I felt like that about every song that I put out. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. And, you know, I think if, if, if people, you know, if artists... Like focus more on putting out quality music, then you know they'll get to where they want to get. You know what I'm saying? They, they'll get to where they want to be. Stop putting out that bullshit. Stop trying to sound like Mozzie. Stop trying to rap like Nipsey. We heard them. Who are you? You feel me? Yeah. Be original. That's the most important thing. Too many rappers out here trying to rap like Mozzie. You the first shoes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you, bro. Fuck a bitch, my heart's been broke before. I used to think she was the one that I married for show. Hey, bro, what's your thoughts on the radio? Like, radio stations, and how they don't play the, the dope shit. Like, honestly, yeah. I think the radio in 10 years ain't gonna matter. Absolute, huh? Yeah, obsolete. Yeah. Everything right now is streaming. Everything right now is like, you know, di uh, satellite radio. Bro, I don't listen to the radio in my car unless I have to. Yeah. Like, I usually got my CDs, you know what I'm saying? But if I forget a CD or if I don't want to, then, then I'll listen to the radio, you know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't nobody fucking with the radio no more. Like, really, really, like, give a fuck about what they playing. Right. Like, because I know they playing bullshit. I don't give a fuck about that. Hey, bro, did you, did you ever see that? That a video that it was Crazy Bone where he was reading a letter about cool. uh, how the the meeting that changed hip hop. Oh yeah, you, you saw that? Yeah, man, can you speak on that a about how they how they weaponized the they weaponized the hip hop. Yeah, yeah, it was like the, the prison, um, the business. Yeah, and then they was like, "This is what we gonna do? Yeah, like we gonna use yeah. hip hop to keep these fuckers full? You know, Look. these prisons full." So, so, so these people that, that were involved in the record companies, right? Yeah. They had invested in private prisons. So they had money in private prisons, right? So being that they work in the record industry as well, they had a meeting. And they said, okay, we have an investment in these private prisons. So what we're going to do is we're going to use hip-hop. That's a weapon. And we're gonna use hip hop to influence the youth, minorities, yeah. especially gangster rap. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use gangster rap to influence the youth so that we can fill these private prisons. You know what I'm saying? And get, get, get their money. And that's what they did. They made, they made an agreement that they were gonna push gangster rap. That's when Boom or NW, or not NWA, like Dr. Dre, Easy E, all that shit was coming out. They had an agenda. The record industry had an agenda, bro. Mm -hmm. And that was just so that they can, they can have motherfuckers in their private. You know, they can have. They they use hip hop as a weapon, bro. Yeah. They're gonna let the gangsters talk their shit, and they're gonna make a whole fucking movement out of it. Yeah. And you know. All the conscious rappers got blackballed and shit, you know, not played and, you know, not, not, they didn't get no money because they, they were like, nope, we're not. 
fuck with this shit because it's not benefiting them. I mean, you yeah. remember 94, 95, 93 when all that shit was going down, you know? How old are you? 33, bro. Okay, so you remember yeah. that. You were probably like in what? Fourth grade, fifth grade? Yeah. Snoop Dogg came out. Yeah. The impact he had, how much they were playing that West Coast gangster shit. Pot, yeah. Pot. As early as what, 96? No, I mean, uh, 93. Yeah. You know, it's just crazy, bro. I, um, luckily, I don't believe they have that power anymore. Yeah, yeah. People work. They work up, bro. There's so much information available. Not only that, they just don't control it anymore. Yeah. The control has, has, has shifted. Shifted. And, and, and now, as artists, yeah. we're able to control at least a little bit of what you know, yeah. goes on. You know, I could upload straight from my computer at home if I have to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Back then, it's like you needed a major label. Right off your phone, even if you, you know. Yeah, you could do it shit right off your phone and all that. I know you know who loves you, yeah. So why you acting like the others, yeah? And why you fucking with these suckers, yeah? Don't you know I'm the one, uh, uh. the one that's gonna make it. Here's my boy Alex right here. How's it going? Alex, I'm faded. We're doing an interview right here. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We supposed to go shoot a video right now too, and um, <laughs> I forgot all about it until I seen his face right now. I'm faded, man. <laughs> what are you drinking? Buzz balls. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Buzz balls. Look. Look. I... <laughs> oh, this is fucked me up. Do I have... This is like my... Okay. This is number seven and eight, bro. Damn. Let's, go, let's go shoot a video. <laughs> <laughs>